This Sunday marks 21 years since the terror attack on September 11th. Ceremonies are planned around the country to mark that day. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar attended one this morning at Naval Station Mayport. Moments from 9-11 remembrance ceremonies like this cause you to remember where you were and what you were doing on that Tuesday morning almost 21 years ago. Jonathan Hobbs, Jennifer Dukes, and Shane McFadden have those memories. They say that day is one of the reasons why they joined the military. I mean, for everyone that died, you're looking at, you know, five, ten people as well that are, were affected that weren't even there. Um, so everything is a, was a massive domino effect. Hobbs has been serving in the Navy for almost a decade. Dukes, a little bit longer with 14 years. Today. They were in 6th and 11th grades respectively and understand there's a call of duty on their part. Teach the next generation about this important date in history. It's a great responsibility because they could have been told one story or, you know, not really know the, the true facts of it. You know, I can probably help them with those things that they do, they do not know. This trio, among other sailors, firefighters, and first responders, reflecting on 9-11 during a ceremony at Naval Station Mayport, remembering the more than 3,000 who lost their lives, their sacrifices honored with words of comfort, a moment of silence. Toward the end of the ceremony, there were three rings from this bell at three different times. McFadden, Naval Station Mayport's Fire and Emergency Services Chief, was deployed in Japan during the terrorist attacks, preparing for war soon after. Those service members remember these images from that day that go through their mind often, reminding them to never forget and to teach others. And as long as we keep preparing them for things that could happen and teach them that there's some things in life that are more important, uh, you know, humanity and, and country and worldwide and things like that, uh, keep that message going as they get older. Reporting in Mayport, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.